Bad art, no clues, chased by ghost? Greg rules, okay. Dad, I got attacked by a ghost after breaking and entering into a building I was forbidden to go in and I saw a creepy painting that was like a dream of mine. Hey, Dad. Hey, you. You okay? Yeah. Weird night. You look really worn out. Yeah. Jeez, I am sword and knight. Had a back. Need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? Always running and jumping around all crazy. I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. I don't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be, but that was because of my job. New job didn't require. No, new job don't require much like that. Yeah. Were you and your mom went on an adventure today? <laughs> yeah. She talked about it all through dinner. You should, you know, be home for dinner sometime. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, go to bed, you. Will do. Do I get to go on an adventure with my dad? I should totally go on an adventure with my dad! Should go on an adventure to, like, fucking... I don't know, meat processing <laughs> I don't know where we go. The clock is still stuck at like a weird time. Oh, yes! The things I found are here! Yes, all the stuff I found is here! That is the bestest. Hey B, you awake? I very much am. Doing bills and eating a grilled cheese. What's up? Went to the Historical Society. Oh, how was it? Uh, we definitely were chased around by a ghost. Really? Hold on, I'm texting Greg to confirm this. Why do you need to confirm it? Don't you trust me? Sorry, I need a second opinion. Greg said it was probably a janitor or something. <sighs> okay, I'm going to bed. Don't go to sleep angry. You'll have bad dreams. Thanks. Good night, May. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. How are your shins? Oh, they're fine. I jump off second story fire escapes all the time. No, actually, they hurt like balls. So anyway, did you find what you were looking for? I think he found us, or dude, we found lots of stuff. Uh, I think he found us. The janitor that was working on the historical robot guy? Greg! -er! Listen, I know janitors exist, so that means there's like a zillion percent more chance it was a janitor and not a ghost. I felt it, dude. It was kind of, well... There was definitely a red silhouetted figure in the, in the window that was very much not the animatronic that we saw because it didn't have a wolf face. I'm asking Angus if that could happen. He's not answering. Alright, I'm gonna get some sleep. Thanks for going with me tonight. Crimes, dude. Crimes. Okay, we'll go to bed. Sure. <laughs> I'll deal with that game some other time. I just don't have the time to do it right now. But it's okay. I'll find out if there's actually anything that we get from doing it. But yeah, we got that. Where's the axe? We have our axe, but we have the bass. Could play some bass, but which song? <gasps> I can practice all of the songs. I can practice all of the songs. We're gonna practice that in the morning. Because I'm really tempted to... Let's find out what, what Drop Dead Angel Face is. Because that's the one that we, we didn't want to play for that guy. Whoa, no. No. No way I'm going to play that one. Too embarrassing. I'm not allowed to play that one. Fine. Then I'll go to bed and I'll play some bass in the morning. When I'm not going to get yelled at by my father. Bedtime. Yes. Oh, there's the axe. It was by the mirror. I didn't see it. Found a fucking axe. 
Oh, this is different. Can't go that way, but I can go this way. I can barely see my silhouette through all the stars. There I am. It's me. I was the turkey all along. I'm the one that knocks in my sleep. There's like explosions and shit going on in the distance. And like an aurora borealis. Can I go up here? Is this a thing? No. That's just the background. This is very different from the other dreams. Because there's not like floating buildings and shit to go find. And there's no graveyard of posts of people to locate. This is very different. Oh fucking hi! Bunch of dead trees and then that moon of death back there. The existential void hole. Oh fucking hello! Giant cat creature. Hello? Man, if this thing talks, I need to put, like, I need to put an effect on this when I do it. Like an echo. Can you talk? Yes. For some reason, you're the first thing here I've thought to talk to. Are you... God? No. Oh. So... Seconds ago, little creatures are coming. And they are asking if I am God. And I am asking what God is. And they are telling me. And I am not this God. And this God is nowhere. You can't see God or, well, that's where faith comes in, I guess. Well, that's where faith comes in, I guess. Little creatures are explaining faith. And moments ago is the beginning. And I am here then, and here now. And there is nowhere for God to be hiding. By that definition, you might actually be God or a God. You're definitely some Lovecraftian fucking whatever the fuck. If you exist in all times. Man, look at the back, the fluff on its back wooble in the breeze. So what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you? I mean, what are those other giant animals? Have I been seeing ghosts? There were, like, bits of the world. I think I was on a train, but it was like a town. It's all... Ugh, I lost it. Okay, so... A great beast is walking through the sand, and they are climbing into the air. And now they are making a tear. And now they are gone. And now you are here. A tear? With their hooves. They are making a tear. Little creatures are wandering through the air. And they are dragging in places and echoes of lives. That actually makes a weird kind of sense. And they are asking me about God. My head hurts. So if this is real and not a dream, something ripped a hole, May wandered in while she was sleeping, and her mind is bringing fragments of the real world in here, and that's all the weird shit she's seeing, and she is bumping into maybe other creatures that belong in this place where she doesn't belong. I'm going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea. And beyond are things blind and terrible. And I am showing you now. It's like a giant flea! Oh! <laughs> oh god! They are blind, but they are seeing you, and you are coming to them, 
After this, you are not returning here. I am climbing into the air and closing the sky. Why? I am tired of speaking with little creatures. I am tired of speaking of God. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything. There is, in fact. It's called the supermassive black hole. It's at the center of our galaxy. And it is always growing. Between the stars, I am seeing it. It is coming, and you are not escaping. And the universe is forgetting you. And the universe is being forgotten. And there is nothing to remember it. Not even the things beyond. And now there is only the whole. So does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. What about my home? What about my friends? Or what about trees in the fall? What about the leaves? See, this is interesting because I'm being proposed with two different kinds of questions or that I can ask here. This is a personal question pertaining to May. This is a question concerning the world, which is much larger than May. So what would this creature be more apt to answer for me? I feel like from what it said, it doesn't actually give a shit about, because he called us, excuse me, he called us little creatures. And he's annoyed by our pestering questions about our finite existence, it sounds. Especially questions about God. Or, well, I guess I should say they. I don't know if this is male or female. It probably isn't either. It seems like it might care more about this, because this is more of an abstract kind of question. I'll ask the opposite ones next time I play, but... What about trees in the fall? What about the leaves? Their existence meaning nothing. You are atoms, and your atoms are not caring if you are existing. So well, that's true. Your atoms are monstrous existence. Then why am I here, goddammit? Why was I chosen to see all of this? Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. We ended up here by accident. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again. And the universe is forgetting you. And I am remembering you. But not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago. The end is moments away. There is no time to forget. Before all is forgotten. Goodbye, little creature. Oh, jeez. Bye bye. I guess this, this is the last weird dream we have. The piano of destiny played. Well, okay then. That was a. Uh... That was creepy, and ominous, and I'm starting to wonder if they really are just dreams. Fuck. Morning. At the pickaxe if you're in town center today. I don't even know why I'm saying this, you're in town center every day. Anyway, see you later. Yes, perhaps we will see you later. I don't know if we get to do all three of the adventures, but we're definitely doing Angus next, just in case we only do two. Hey, dude. And the old Snelkin. Come save me from boredom, Supreme. Sincerely, Gregory. I like this kind of valley girl thing that I've given him. I have to remember Angus's voice. I always seem to change it. <clears throat> what is his voice? Hold on a minute. Oh, that's the same message from before, I think. We've seen this one. Away message. Planets are to be pitied, as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Dr. Kathleen Conklin, National Astronomy Agency. Alright then. We're saving the Demon Tower for another time because it got really fucking hard. It got so hard, Charcoal. <laughs> oh. 
It's kind of neat that you can practice on your guitar now. I mean, maybe we'll do that another time, or maybe we won't, because I'm pretty sure you guys have already dealt with the hell that is my playing. Although maybe this means there's no more to play. I guess we've played them all. There's the axe and the teeth, which I hope we gleaned, and the lock and the pennant. Yay. Hooray. Let's see if there's anything new. Ah, oh, there's new things for the clock. I wonder if the new working clock downstairs thinks this clock is scary. Big old thing upstairs. Like you, but different. Huge and spooky. Making weird noises at night. Aw, I can't find this thing spooky. It's a piece of granddad. We need more of those. Aw, that's so cute. It's also got like birds or... I'm assuming those are birds. I think those are birds on the face of the clock and not like weird radishes or something. Anything to say about the family? No. Anything to say about the bird? Yay. Oh, I can't talk to the bird when I'm on the dresser. Bird. I kind of get you now. All like trapped and shit. I should let you out. But if you did, would the bird survive? Oh, nah. Would the bird die if you let it out, though? It is a domesticated bird. Nothing there. Like, that's the downside when people say you should just, like, oh, release the domesticated creature into the wild. You kind of can't. Like, for everyone's like, oh, we should set all the cows and the chickens and the piggies free. I mean, that's a lovely idea, but they've been domesticated. And just like a human, if you were to plop a human in the woods, they would just, you know, die after a few days. So would the other critters. That was depressing. Let's talk to our mother. That's a face. Honey? You okay? Uh, mornings are tough right now. Are you... pregnant? No! No, honey. Is that why you came home? No! Not at all! Sweetie, you can tell me. I've been there. And despite nature's intentions, God came through and blessed us with you. Jesus. You were a miracle, baby. That's me. A miracle. After all the miscarriages, we'd given up hope. Oh, no! Oh, Mom Cat, no! I'm so sorry. And now I'm really sad. Shit. And then there you were. And here I am now. So if you're pregnant... I'm not pregnant! I was not in a situation where pregnancy happens! Oh, my face is amazing. <laughs> I, like, I stare at the bubble, so I miss the expression sometimes, but I glanced over and I saw that. Okay, okay. I just want you to know that you can always come to us with this. Okay, noted. Can we talk about anything else? Sure. You know, if you did have a baby. Okay. I'm out. <laughs> okay, sweetie. I'm sorry. I get excited about grandbabies. It's fine. I'll be back later. Love you. Love you too. Anything else to talk to mom about? Yes. If it was a boy, you could name him Calvin. Oh god, mom. If it was a girl, you could name her. Trash, baby. Cordelia! Why don't I just have the baby and hand it to you? <gasps> Ooh! Okay, bye. I'm leaving. I love you, cat mom. <laughs> like, how would I just have a baby and then give it to you? And she's like, oh, yes! <laughs> Our mom is so weird, I love her. Grand babies. Should I check over here? There's like never anything over here. Although maybe because we've met the opossum, now there's things. Let's have a quick peeky peek. I 
I keep saying to myself, maybe we've, you know, maybe there's no point, but then I keep wandering into places and finding shit, so. Let's take a quick dash. Mint. No? That would be it, okay. That's all that's over there. Any comments about the Pissim Springs? I know. Okay, so there was nothing over here today. I'm still gonna check, but at least we can kind of zip through it. That sun is so pretty. Although I think we are waking up later and later in the day. Unless that's because it's, you know, fall heading into winter soon. Because Night in the Woods seems to take place over a sing uh, like a single season. I think somebody said it was like three weeks worth of time this game covers. That was a strange lag. It was preceded by a car. Mr. Tavism, are you on the roof? We're gonna find out. <gasps> it's Summers! Hey, May. You alright? Yeah, I guess. Why? You look like... Like you went through the dryer. On the wrong setting. <laughs> yeah. Long week is all. You wanna hear a poem? Cheer you up. Yeah. There is no other option. Life goes on. It feels so long. But I report... Life is too short. <laughs> Here's another happy one. Life is great, but life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs in the backyard. Thank you, Summers. They cheer you up. They did. Yay! Chazakov's up there again. Sweet. He like ever oh gosh. He ever like dropped that telescope? Oh no, he'd cry his eyes out. He loves that thing more than his kid. He has a kid? Yeah. Name's Colin. Visits every once in a while. He's hot as hell. You talk to him? Nah, he works at some university research place. He's not interested in this. Summers. Eh. Summers, you should talk to him! They do karaoke at Miller's, but only like twice a week. Should be every night. Should totally go do karaoke with Summers. Summers, we should go do karaoke and you should bring your hot not boyfriend to make him your hot is your boyfriend. That was a sentence I said. Bad weather coming soon. I feel it in my bones. I'm glad you're not mad at me for your porch anymore. Whoop! Fell off the edge. I wasn't trying to do that. It's been a bit. One, two, hip! I'll be right with you, Mr. Chizavanim. I just have to get up to the appropriate level of roof. Is there anybody else up on the roof? Because there was a deer here. Can I get into this door? No. The roof deer is gone, which is a shame. No, I fell! Shit! No! Let me... Und oh my god. Can I not get up there? There we go. One, two, whoa. One, two, bin. What? Or can I just. Mmm. Mm hmm. I need to get onto the. No! No! Why <laughs> is this not the roof? No! No. One, two, three. I'll be right with you. Apparently, I forgot how to roof. Oh my god. This is like the one roof I never had any trouble getting to, and now I feel embarrassed. One, two, three. Yeah, there we fucking go. Mr. Chavasimus! 
<laughs> me. Mr. Chizikov! You look a bit worse for wear today, May. Oh, I'm fine. I made it up here, didn't I? Watch yourself, lest you fall. Will do. Here to see some stars? You know it. Come have a look. Yes! Do I burn my retinas? I did not scream this time, but it did burn my retinas. So we went all the way around the edges, I think. Yeah, we did. So now I just have to like traverse the emptiness in the center. Oh, found one. I think I got one. Let us see. Oh, it's a man with a rope on him. Cole, the mountaineer. Cole. I knew a guy named Cole. Is that close? Oh. It is. So what's up with this guy? Cole's from a flat land. This Midwest? Whatever the Midwest of wherever he was from was. Every place has a Midwest. This is true. He dreamed of mountains and devoted his life to climbing them. Because his hometown was flat? Isn't this a common instinct? To seek that which is unlike where one grows up? Not really, or yeah. I say yeah. Everybody kind of wants to be somewhere. I feel like people want to be somewhere that is different enough from their home to not be where they grew up, but similar enough that it's not weird. I mean, people go to the city a lot. Like, they move there because it's got stuff. And there's more people like them, maybe. Sucks, though. Not everyone can just up and leave. When I left my country, I felt this same thing. But I have not regretted it. You like Possum Springs? It is beautiful in ways perhaps invisible to those who have seen it every day of their lives. So, what happened to Cole? He returned home and complained that the sky felt heavy. He had been up into the clouds, and now they rested hard upon him. That's a really specific complaint. When one leaves a place, one brings something back when one returns. One. One. I see. That is the edge. Let's fluff around in the middle some more and look for things that are woobly. Is it you? No. Is it this? Yes. Gotcha. Oh. Which one is this? Oh. Adina Astrea. Exclamation points! You know this one? Yes, I know this one. It is a common story. How Adina journeyed to the frozen lake. How she traversed unknown faraway lands. I was very into Adina stories when I was a kid. I think this, or at least this looks familiar. I think that the company that made this actually had like a, a prequel little testy game they did. And that this was their main character. So you must know what became of her. Yeah... How she, in her quest, turned her back on the sky and journeyed down into the earth where her stars were no longer over her head and how she was never seen again. Yeah, whatever. Is that not a sad ending? Yeah, I mean, she probably died or no, disappearing isn't the same as dying. That's an interesting thing. I mean, she probably did die, but I mean, you don't know. Just because she wasn't seen again doesn't mean that she died. Um... Given the weird existential dream we just had, I feel like this is a good answer. No, disappearing isn't the same as dying. She probably went somewhere else completely and did all kinds of cool shit. Oh my! Yeah, so, whatever. 
Oh, it's all for it. Oh my god, I've lost the accent. Oof, I so I can't get it back. Oh no, it's gone. It's all for the day. That's close enough. That was nice. Good lord. I can't believe I lost the ability to speak partway through that. Pretty sweet. The stars, I mean. I am in agreement. Yes. Cole and Adina. Sweet. Maybe we should find that game. I think it was like a free little tester thing. We should find that. We should have a peeksy peek. A peeksy peek. Perhaps. Now let's see what is in over here. Hey everyone! Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed the video and you want to help my channel grow, why not like the video or share it with your friends? Want to tell me what you thought? Leave a comment! If you want to see more, why not subscribe or enjoy one of the annotated videos? Thanks a bunch, you guys. I couldn't do it without you.